an infamous and a brutal Fink Spikey enforcer, has been abruptly expelled from the club following an intense internal power tussle. Greg 25 Keating, now in his 40s, originally became associated with the notorious Gold Coast Fink chapter during his formative teenage years. He derived his nickname 25 from his older brother and fellow former Fink, Graham Keating, who was known as 50. During his heydays, his presence loomed large within the notorious Finks as he stood shoulder to shoulder with the formidable terror team of enforcers. Terror Team was an elite cadre of enforcers known for their strength, muscle, and fearsome reputation and in the early years were considered a powerful and intimidating force within the bikey circles in Gold Coast. Terror Team's main job was to collect Fink's fines, or Fink's debts, which consisted of mainly drug or dope debts, shark loan debts, membership fee and extortion payments, often involving intimidation, violence, and coercion. Greg Keating was also tasked with defending and expanding club's territory, and ensuring discipline among members. He was often involved in retaliatory actions, weapon handling, recruitment, and protecting club's leadership which commonly involved intimidation, brutality, and pressure. Among the terror team were some other well-known names like the deceased Shane Bowden, a figure whose legacy is etched in blood and brotherhood. And Nick the Knife Forbes, who is now the iron-fisted national president of the formidable Mongols Bikey Club. Others who were a part of Fink's terror team were Greg's elder brother Graham Keating, Leslie Martin, Jason Morrison, Richard Mihail also known as Richard the Savage, and Tama Lewis aka the Charming Psychopath. In 2012, Police raided Terror Team's headquarters and located .45 caliber semi-automatic pistol and a magazine loaded with 7.45 caliber bullets, set of knuckle dusters, a set of nunchaku, a stun gun and set of flick knives and a meat cleaver, engraved with the words Fink's Terror Team. The younger Keating was sergeant at arms of the Finks in the club's heydays, when it controlled the Gold Coast underworld before the Mongols took over. When Queensland police moved to outlaw the Finks in 2012, Keating, who then owned a Southport tattoo parlor called King of Ink, was named in Supreme Court documents as the club's main enforcer, charged with maintaining discipline by any means available. Keating made news in 2009, when he pleaded guilty in Lismore District Court to the supply of the prohibited drug after being caught near Tumbulgum on July 12, 2007, with 18.34 grams of methamphetamine in two sandwich bags. Keating was arrested after police saw him driving a stolen BMW 7 Series and doing illegal U-turns. He told officers he was only in the Tweed region because he was lost. The officers took Keating to the nearest police station, where he was strip-searched in a cell. After being asked to remove his clothes, police saw two plastic resealable sandwich-type bags fall from inside his undies onto the floor. Each bag held a substance police suspected was a prohibited drug. An analysis done at a forensic science laboratory revealed one bag said methamphetamine. He was presented in front of the court where a judge placed him on an 18-month good behavior bond. In 2013, Keating and Bowden left Finks in the wake of a major police crackdown, following the Broad Beach brawl. CCTV cameras captured the moment when about 50 banditos stormed a dining precinct to attack a rival gang before starting a wild brawl with cops. Public outrage sparked the introduction of tough new laws in Queensland making it harder for bikies to operate and even associate. As a result a wave of finks including Keating and Bowden patched over to the Mongols in Melbourne. However, shortly after the pair returned to the Gold Coast and rejoined their finks. In 2019 Keating was jailed for refusing to break his club's code of silence by testifying at a secret hearing into organized crime. He refused to answer questions about illicit drug activity, or even confirm he was the Fink sergeant at arms. That marked his loyalty towards Finks. As per reports it's not clear what sparked the bad blood between Keating, and his former brothers, but it's clear that there was a major feud. The story is ongoing.